Hello everyone, my name is Jamin. Thanks so much for visiting my channel. In this video, I have a ThinkPad T14. This is the Gen 4 series, the AMD model. I'm gonna show you how to get inside, access the fan, heatsink, CPU assembly. So first thing, power down your computer the correct way. Make sure it's off and unplugged from your charger. We're then gonna flip your computer over to access your bottom case screws. Now you have seven screws by the red arrows. After you remove those screws, we're gonna take a small, flat, plastic pry tool, and we're gonna go across the seam of the bottom case and pry it up from the rest of your computer. It's generally best to start near the back two hinges, and in this case, it was easiest to start right on top of that hinge with a small, narrow plastic pry tool. Make sure you don't put the pry tool too far in, keep it on the edge, go nice and slow but careful but firm, and you'll be able to get that bottom case off. After you remove the bottom case, this is what you're looking at for the rest of the computer. Now, as a general computer repair side note, whenever I'm working on a computer in my shop, it's sitting on an anti-static mat. Either that or an anti-static bracelet are great ideas to avoid damaging anything in your computer when you're working on it. If you would like any help with tools or supplies for your project, as well as any upgrade or replacement parts for this specific model, the T14, there will be a link above, also below in the description. It'll have all of those tools and supplies and all of these replacement parts for this model computer. Now, before touching anything in a computer, I always remove or at least unplug my battery. Computers are safer to work on when as little power as possible is running through them. So here's your battery right down here. The battery is held down by these six screws and plugs into the motherboard right there. And the plug itself is not wired, it's actually part of the battery. So after removing all the screws, you just lift the battery up and that unplugs it from the motherboard. Okay, so now that the battery has been unplugged, it's safe to proceed deeper into the computer. This is your fan right here. The heatsink goes between it and your vent over to your CPU. To get your fan out, there's just a couple screws that you need to undo. And the fan plugs into the motherboard right here. Now keep in mind fan wires are very, very fragile and they can easily rip out of the fan or the plug. So definitely don't pull on the wires. Use your fingernails or a pry tool on either side of this grip and you can wiggle that plug right out of the motherboard port right there. To separate the fan from your heat sink, there's a piece of tape here you would need to remove and that's how you can get your fan out. The heat sink itself screws down with these four screws over your CPU. I will have a fan heatsink assembly replacement below in the description in that link I told you about with all of the replacement and upgrade parts for this model computer if you would like help finding that. Now I don't know why you're all here. Maybe some of you are replacing a broken fan. Uh, maybe some of you you're having an overheating issue so you're trying to gain access to your CPU to reapply thermal paste. Just a word of caution, if you for any reason uh, take up your heatsink and expose the thermal paste to air on any laptop, it does then need to be reapplied. Once thermal paste separates, uh, some of it comes off on the heat sink, some of it stays on the CPU. Once it separates and gets exposed to air, it's not gonna work properly. So if you would like help with that sort of operation, I will have a video link above, also below in the description. It'll be a tutorial in how to fix an overheating laptop and it will show you how to clean off all the old thermal paste. You want to clean that off before you apply new thermal paste. And then it'll show you how to put the right amount down. If you put too much thermal paste down, it ends up locking heat in rather than facilitating its transport out. So you definitely want to do that the correct way. That video will be there if you need help with that. And I guess the last thing to keep in mind if you are reapplying thermal paste, know that not all thermal pastes are created equal. The cheaper stuff will do the job, but the more expensive stuff will do a better job at it. So below in the description, in that link I told you about with all the tools and supplies for your computer projects, I will include a couple different thermal paste options. One will be on the cheaper end if money is a big factor, but the other, while being a little more expensive, it will do a far better job. But that's the end of this video, how to get into the T14 Gen 4 and access your heatsink assembly. Thanks again so much for watching. Uh, please remember to like and share if this helped you out, if you think it can help someone else out. 
And feel free to subscribe if you enjoy DIY computer content like this, or if you just want to keep me on hand to answer any of your future computer questions, I do try to answer all questions throughout my channel at least a couple times a day. Also, feel free to check out the related link section below in the description. From time to time, I do try to add things in there that I think will help you uh, with your general computer life, make it more productive, more enjoyable. So thanks again for watching, everyone. I look forward to seeing you on my next video.